What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my updated makeup routine, my current face-based routine, the skincare I put on before, and my eyeliner. I feel like I always get asked about my eyeliner. I do not wanna talk your ear off because I know I'm already gonna be doing that in this video, so I think we should just get into it. Okay, so my makeup recently has been a combination of old techniques that I've been using literally since I was 16 years old and newer techniques just because I'm lazy and I want to slap my makeup on my face a lot faster. I know the Sephora sale is coming up pretty soon um, so I'm going to do a whole video talking about the products I recommend, my favorite products from Sephora. I'm not going to mention or use all of my favorites um, in this video so make sure you stay tuned for that one. On my face right now I literally just have some face moisturizer but before I do from Drunk Elephant before I do my makeup anytime I always put on the f-bomb electrolyte water facial mask this is the best 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 thing to put on your face before you do makeup it's a mask and I don't really hear anyone talking about it although I don't really watch a lot of like beauty YouTube and more but it really is like the best primer and then I go in with an eye cream also drunk elephant I just shaved my face today I haven't done it in a long time and it's like a little bit burning so just put on my eye cream oh my gosh pretend you didn't see that pretend I applied it like a delicate little flower okay then I'm going in with this gold girl primer which I honestly don't know if it does anything, but I have it and I'm trying to use up stuff that I have, but it's not something that I'm like, <gasps> when I don't use it, you know? I don't like really notice how big of a difference, but I'm just gonna use it. I love the NARS foundation. Like that's been my pride and joy, the love of my life for a long time now, but I saw this on TikTok. It is the House Labs um, foundation, their new foundation, and I picked it up while I was in Toronto. I just got back from London yesterday and I used it the whole trip and I was so impressed with how it looked and the longevity. I'm just gonna put some on there and start swiping it on my face. It has full coverage, but doesn't feel cakey at all, and it also makes your skin look really hydrated. It really reminds me of the NARS foundation, and that's probably why I like it so much, if anything. This one just has a little bit more coverage. Oh, I also really like applying this with my fingers. Actually, let's do that. I got back from London yesterday. I took my boyfriend there for his birthday. His birthday was actually in September, but because of all the Jewish holidays, we couldn't leave until after they were done. So we left on Wednesday and then we just got back home last night. And London truly is just one of my favorite cities and places in the whole world. All we did was eat and drink there and that's our favorite thing to do. And I could not have asked for a better time. It was really, just really fun. So next I'm going in with my concealer. This is the Faux Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty. This is also a new concealer that I've been loving. It is so full coverage and I apply this here, here, whatever, wherever I just want like a lot of coverage. I actually asked you guys to ask me some questions to answer while I was doing this get ready with me. And one of the questions that I was asked was, I have a hard time doing 2022 makeup versus 2016 makeup, any tips? So this is actually something I struggle with too. I feel like I loved 2016 makeup, really full coverage makeup. And my tip to you is to just do makeup that makes you feel really good and confident. Makeup is not one size fits all. What I like on my face, you might think is way too much or not enough. And you just have to do and put the makeup on your face that you feel best in. So, you know, 2016 makeup was like a ton of concealer and like the triangle concealer and all the baking. And I don't even know if people still bake anymore, but I bake because I like how it makes my makeup look. And so I wouldn't focus so much on makeup trends or what people are doing on TikTok. I would just focus on literally what makes you feel the best. Another question I got asked a lot that I wanted to touch on is my lip filler. So I actually haven't gotten my lip filler done since the last time you saw it. I went through a whole journey where I dissolved my lip filler. My lips were really uneven to begin with, which is the whole reason I started getting lip filler. And then I just got a little addicted to lip filler. I'm gonna come back to that. KVD contour, I got a lot of questions asking how I use this. 
So I'm gonna show you. I literally just put it here. Sometimes I go all the way up, I don't know. Depends on my mood, depends how tan I wanna be. I love this product so much. This is definitely my favorite cream contour because it just blends in with all of the other products. It doesn't add like another layer of makeup, which sometimes can be a lot. And so I'll go in and I'll do my lips. And this stuff dries pretty quickly. So I go in with this brush from It Cosmetics and I kind of just buff it into my skin. I don't want to drag it too low because then I'll get like a droopy cheekbone. Back to what I was talking about, my lips. I got a DM from someone saying that you went to Courage, Nurse Courage, who does is the person who does my lips as I'm sitting here looking insane. She used to work at Beauty Bar in Yorkville in Toronto and I live in Montreal and I would go all the way to Toronto to get my lips done just because she truly is the absolute best. And so one of you guys messaged me saying that you went all the way there and that she no longer works at Beauty Bar. So I was like, hold on. My life flashed before my eyes because she's the only person I trust with my lips and I, message them and i was like oh my gosh like i actually messaged her her previous account I was like oh my god courage where are you like where did you go someone from beauty bar um had her account i guess and was like oh she's no longer um injecting she's doing pre and post op and i was like oh but then i found her personal account and she had a different clinic linked in her bio so she is injecting but she's at a different clinic so i will leave her down below her new space down below because i know a lot of you guys went to her because of me but for my lips i have half a syringe i want to say in my lips i mean and my lips just love filler like they do they hold on to filler like no other so my lips got really stretched from lip filler um which is something you have to consider if you're going to be putting a lot of filler in your lips it's going to naturally stretch your actual like lip i'm going to go in with with my absolute favorite powder, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder on my beauty blender and I'm going to set my under eyes. So I, like I said, I do still bake, but I always set it with a pressed powder because it gives the most flawless look. It, I feel like it prevents creasing the most and then I'll go around and set the rest of my face with this powder. Okay, so then I go in with my baking powder and this is the Huda Beauty um, baking powder. I use the color Pound Cake. Well, I've had this probably for two years, I wanna say. And the first time I tried it, I really didn't like it. But that's when like my makeup was different, my preferences were different, and I was using this incorrectly. So with this powder, I feel like it is very drying, but you have to make sure that your base is dewy and you're hydrated, and that's why I put like a good eye cream under. But this will make you look so flawless, and it will make your makeup last literally all day, if not until the next day, if you don't want to take your makeup off. It actually comes with a really weird mesh situation that I just like literally yanked out of there. But I go in with a little amount. I press it into my skin. I keep bouncing until it's all absorbed. And I don't know if you can tell, but it just gets rid of every single pore on your face, blurs everything. So then I got a lot of DMs also about smile lines. All I do is I go like this. It's not a cute face, okay? I just go like this. And I go like this. And I pat it in. And it... I find that that really prevents smile lines. I find that when it's like nice and powdered and set that it prevents those smile lines and other powders would kind of like cake up and not look cute throughout the day but this one doesn't do that and that's why I love it so much. And then I'll go in and I'll bake under here to really like snatch the contour and kind of drag it down like that. So when I'm getting ready at nighttime, if I'm going for dinner, this is the makeup that I do. And I really do the same thing during the day maybe just a little bit less intense but during the day instead of the house labs i'll tend to use the flex sunscreen um which is really good and then also at nighttime versus during the day i'll go in and also bake a little bit under my eyes like here just to really brighten it up another question i got asked about my makeup is why i don't do colorful makeup and the reason for that is I just don't feel my best in colorful makeup. Okay, so for my brows, I've been having a situation with my brows. I just hate them at the moment. And they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything to me. 
They're just minding their own business, but I'm just, they're annoying me right now. So I, this is my favorite brow pencil. I've tried many of them. The L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the color Brunette. It's creamy. It's just as good as the Benefit Anastasia one. Like save your money. This one is just as good. So my brows, I don't know if anyone cares about my brows. They're nothing special. I do not like a thick bushy brow on my face shape. I appreciate them on other people, but on my face shape, I really hate them. But I do like a more natural brow, so I'll fill in the tail. And then for the front, I don't really touch the middle part. And then for the front, I'll go in and just kind of draw like little lines like that. And then I kind of rub my finger through it to kind of blend it all together. And that's my brow routine. If I use a gel, it is the Charlotte Tilbury gel. But sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then I'll go with whatever's left on my beauty blender and kind of stamp it. And I feel like it just makes it look more natural. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it kind of takes that like stark brow look away and makes it look more natural. And then I'll just brush it through like that. I actually do have... a. Um, do I have wispy eyebrows? But you guys, my biggest tip when doing your makeup is to really not try too hard. Like, especially before, I would always try so hard to do my makeup and make it perfect, and I would always spend so much time on it and end up hating it. And I always found that when I did it super fast and I didn't even try that hard, I always felt my best. So I really just stopped trying that hard and I've loved my makeup and even I've loved the process of doing my makeup so much more. This one I thought was funny. I didn't know if it was they were trying to shade me or whatever. Did you feel weird showing your boyfriend yourself without makeup? I know it's a big change. So I don't know if they were trying to shade me because I look so different without makeup. Most of the time I feel even prettier without makeup. I feel like whenever I'm talking to someone with makeup on, I'm always wondering or worrying like, are they look, is my makeup okay? Like, is it smudging? Does it look weird? If they're staring at me a little bit wrong, I'm like, oh my God, is like my lipstick smudged? Like what is going on? But when I don't have makeup on, I'm like, this is my face and stare at it all you want because this is what it is. I actually prefer not having makeup on. Obviously, E10 can tell when I have makeup on, but there's been, I can't even tell you how many nights there's been where he's like, okay, are you gonna go take your makeup off? And I have no makeup on. So did I feel weird at the beginning? I mean, I guess it's always weird, you know, exposing yourself, but also I'm online without makeup all the time. Me in person with no makeup on does not even compare to some of the times I put myself in vlogs on the internet looking like I was ran over by a car. I normally just put bronzer on my crease. I've been doing that. You've seen me do that a million times. So that's what I normally do. But for today, I thought we would test this out. It's from Christina Sicalius's makeup line. She is a makeup artist and she's also like an influencer and she started her own makeup line. And this palette, you cannot tell me that this does not look like the most delicious palette. So I thought we would test it out. The colors look right up my alley. I'm going to go in with the color Terra. All of her products are like handmade in Italy. I actually follow her and her husband, um, Mark, because I find them so hilarious. Ooh, that's pigmented. Her makeup also always looks really beautiful and the products look really beautiful and stunning. So I'm not the best at eyeshadow by any means. It doesn't like bring me joy the same way that lip products or um, face products do, but we'll just see how this goes. So if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know I always do the same eye makeup and I've always brought it out and I've always done sort of a cat eye or what people like to call a siren eye. And siren eyes are so in right now and I got a lot of questions asking how I do my eyeliner, so I thought I would show you guys. It's really nothing special, but it is really easy and foolproof. So if you are not really good at makeup, I promise you this will be easy and you'll be able to do it. So far, so good. These are really easy to blend. The color is really nice. It looks a little bit orangey on camera, but I promise in real life, it's actually a really nice bronze color. And I always blend my eyeshadow into here and kind of up into my brow. Most of the time my eyeshadow does not match, but by the time you put your mascara and everything on, you can't even tell. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush and go into the color Mocha, which is just a little bit, well, it's actually just like full on brown. I'm gonna be careful with this and just put a little bit, yeah, that's dark. 
as I expected as I go into like literally a deep chocolate brown. Just very slightly deepen up the outer corner. Then I'm gonna go in with the color Re Real, this one right here. I'm picking up on my finger. They're so sparkly and glitter glittery and pretty. And I'm just going to kind of dab it on my, oh, that is pretty. I'm just going to kind of dab it on my eyes. So obviously this is not like, oh, that is really pretty. Obviously this is not like an everyday. I mean, who's to say? Like, knowing me, I would wear this, do all this just to go to the grocery store. That is really pretty. I don't know if it's coming across as pretty on camera. It kind of reminds me of the Bobbi Brown shadows that I love so much that are discontinued. I think they're discontinued. I use a brown eyeliner. One of my absolute favorites is this one from Makeup by Mario. It's like a little nub that I have left. Kind of like hold my eye, which you're not supposed to, but it's what I do. And I just drag it like this, pretty far out. I feel like most of the time people say like, put it to the end of your brow. I don't follow that. I kind of follow this angle here. And then I connect it like that. And I don't go past my pupil at all. I don't line the whole top of my eye. Then for the inner corner, okay, this is where it gets tricky, but it's really not that hard. All I do is I go in, kind of color in, but on the inside, you wanna make sure you're going on the inside of your waterline here. You don't wanna come in on the top, you wanna go in on the inside. So you kind of wanna take your head and turn it so that you can see the inside here in the mirror. Place it in your tear duct and then do a little swoop, swoop. Those sound effects are really important. So you want it to look like it's coming from inside your tear duct. You don't want it to look like it's coming from the top. And then if it's not sharp enough, I'll go in with my nail and kind of clean it up and flick it out. Bring it out from inside your tear duct. And then you wanna make sure they're even, but my eyes aren't even, so it's never gonna look perfectly even. But when you have mascara on, you can't really tell. Sometimes if I want it like a really snatched line, I'll go in with a pencil and I'll do the same thing. I'll line the inside of my waterline. And then just kind of go over it. When you're using a pen, a pen like this, I always still go in first with a pencil. It just makes it so much easier and I kind of flick it. I don't draw it, I flick it so that the end of the line is the thinnest part. And then I'll go in and I don't draw the whole line, I'll kind of, ju kind of just outline it at the end, like that. I don't do this like during the day, every day. I still got a lot of questions about how to prevent it from smudging here. You just have to make sure that it's a waterproof eyeliner. Now I'm gonna do the bottom of my lash line. I'm gonna go in back with the color that I put on the top. And to do this, I'm going to use this little brush right here, which has actually turned out to be the best lower lash line brush on the market. Cause it's like flat and it's not too stiff. I'll just pick up the same color that is in my crease and I go along my lash line and blend it in. And then I also take a little bit more and kind of blend it up the bottom half of the liner to make everything blend. I used to not be able to leave my house until I had bottom mascara on, but for some reason, I just hate how my eyes look with bottom mascara because I want my eyes to be lifted and going up and I find that bottom mascara kind of droops it down. My favorite mascara in the entire world is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. It has to be a little bit dried up. That is when it's, ew. This, is, this one might be a little bit too dried up, but this is the best mascara. I stick it at the bottom, wiggle it, and then pull up. Everything I do, I'm doing it to kind of bring my eye up like this. So when I put the mascara on, I don't go up like this, I swoop it out towards the end of my eyebrow. And I always put mascara on the top of my lashes too. I put more mascara on the outer corner of my lashes. Okay, so now I'll go in with my beauty blender and kind of press the powder into my skin and drag it off my face. And then for my bronzer, I go in with Hoola and the Anastasia bronzer in Saddle. This is like my favorite, favorite, 
favorite bronzer. I'll go in with Hoola to do the initial bronze, and then I'll go in and really like warm up my face with saddle. The best bronzer brush is the Morphe M527 brush. I'll pick some of the Hoola up and then start bronzing. Once I'm done with the Hoola, I'll go in and pick up some of the Anastasia bronzer. Be careful, this is really concentrated. And this I'm going in with a lighter hand and kind of going more towards the outer portion of my face. And for my nose, I'll go in with Hoola. That's a little bit intense for your nose. I'll go in and this is actually, I think a highlighter brush. And I'll just kind of dab it on the end and then pinch it and go down the sides. So for my lip combination, I have had a new love of my life. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Deep Taupe. I just got this lip gloss in, so I want to try it, but then I'll show you guys my true lip combo that I've been absolutely loving. When I line my lips, I only line the middle bottom and the top middle. And I need to really sharpen this. and then I fill it in a little bit and then blend it with my finger. But I don't put any on this part of my lip. And then I kind of draw like a little bit of a line and blend it. Okay, let's try this lip gloss. I'm not really a peachy lip gloss kind of person, but I heard it's amazing. So let's see. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It has some pigment to it. So it kind of acts like a lipstick and gloss. I don't, I, I don't believe you. I was not expecting to like that as much as I like it. And it tastes like a cookie. Okay, I got so excited by that, I almost forgot blush. I'm going in with the Hourglass um, Blush Stick in the shade Loyal. And I'm gonna go in and pick some up on a brush. This is a new favorite of mine. I love this cream blush. This product has literally transformed my makeup. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Powder. I was at Holt Renfrew and I asked the girl at Charlotte Tilbury if they had this brightening powder and she was like, no, it's back ordered. And I was like, oh no, how long? And she was like, I think forever. I think she was a little bit confused, but it's literally a white powder and I just picked some up on a beauty blender and I go right here and I'll go right here and right there and right there and there. Okay, so I ended up doing like a full glam look this is like the makeup i would wear to at nighttime if i was doing it during the day i literally just would have put bronzer in my crease instead of the eyeshadow and a different lip combo which i'm going to show you guys right now because even though i love that one so much it's not the one i've been doing the lip combo every day that i've been doing is the nude sticks magnetic matte lip color in boho to line if i don't use the lip liner I love this because it's so easy to reapply if you're out. It glides so nicely and I've been loving a little bit of a darker lip. So I just kind of pat it in like that. And then this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Tint, but the, oops, <laughs> but the clear one. And this one is not the plumping, but it is so glossy. And I love that it's a stick because it kind of blends everything together. It is, look how glossy that is. And then I'll just go in with a little of like a nude lipstick. This is Nude Kate on the middle. And that's my current lip combo. I can't tell which one I like better. Which lip combo do you like better? This one's definitely less intense, I feel like. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for my current makeup routine. I got a little bit carried away with the eyeshadow, but I really wanted to test that out because you've seen me do bronzer on my in my crease a million times. Um, I hope it was helpful. As usual, everything will be linked down below along with the shade that I used it in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I hope you have an amazing week. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.